All right, so we've got this mole mash game, and if we click on the guy, we get a point. If we click off it, we lose a point. And, uh, you know, that's how it works. But now let's make it so we actually have some energy, and we can lose that energy when they miss. So instead of taking away a point from the score, we'll lose, lose energy. And I'm going to start by just coming over here and adding a label. And I'll put the label right here. And the label can be background color of, of blue because, uh, you know, blue for energy. And um, I'll give it no text. And I'll give it a width of 100 pixels. And this 100 is important, as you'll see in a second. And a height will give it of um, 20 pixels. So I'm going to put a 20 for the height. And now we have this label. So what we want is that thing to get smaller as, a, as the player loses energy. Okay. So I'm going to come over to the Blocks Editor. And um, you know, what we showed last time is we got rid of the mole sprite.touch and we kind of replaced it with when the canvas is touched. If something, if the sprite's been touched within the canvas, then we get a point. So we can get rid of these blocks. But we are no longer going to lose points if we miss. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this score label to score label minus one. And I'm going to add a variable. And that variable is going to be my energy. Okay, and remember variables are kind of are kind of hidden memory cells. I'm going to call this guy energy. And by hidden, I mean the end user can't see what's in there. So we're going to have to show the end user energy in some way. In fact, in this case, we're going to show it by changing, you know, this thing to make it less wide, right, as the energy goes down. But we're going to start the energy, sorry, I put a zero in there. We're going to start as 100. So our energy is 100, and let's just say every time you miss the mole, we'll take away 10 from the energy. Now, once I create this variable, its initial value is 100, 100, but in my definitions, I can change it with this set block, or I can look at it with this block. So I'm going to grab this set energy, and I'm going to grab the read, or the you know, way to look at it, and then I'm going to go to my math, and grab a minus. And in fact, what I'm going to want to do is set the energy to itself minus 10. I'll just type a 10. It'll make me a 10 block. So every time I miss, I'm going to make energy smaller. Um, but like I said, that's a hidden variable. So it'll, it'll show up on, on here. But we want to also make the width of this label smaller. So every time I update energy, I'm going to go to my label, and I, I forgot to rename my label, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to call this guy my energy label. So notice it's not my actual data, but it's the thing that's going to show um, the energy. Okay. Now back in the blocks editor, I go to energy label and in this, whoops, sorry, I don't need to change the text. I want to change the width, right? So I'm going to change the width of the energy label every time. And I started my energy out as 100, and I started my label out with a width of 100. Okay, I could have made those different and, and kind of done some, some proportional math, but in this case, they're, they're, about, they're the same. So every time I change the energy variable, I am going to... Uh, change my width to equal exactly what energy is. I'm going to go get a reference to energy. So the first time through energy should change to 90 and the width of my label should then change to 90. Okay, um, so let's see if we've if we've got this working. So every time I miss I should see that blue get smaller. And voila, pretty good.